Hello, I'm Vitreous, and welcome to Misery Mire. We've already handled three of the ten episodes in Snake Mile and Roll, and let's just say, these games don't get easier. So if you want to know when the difficulty really kicks it up to why the heck am I playing this levels, it's actually in level four. Let's see why. So level 4 starts you off with some jumps. Some of them are mean, some of them aren't really that bad. And you'll find that 1-ups are now replaced by bombs. Well, most of them are. Okay, we have these toilet seat things up here now, again. And this thing called a pincushion. It's annoying because the three spikes hurt, and they go everywhere. Everywhere. I've gotten hit in some bizarre places by them. See the bloopers for more... insanity. Kill the Bigfoot again, and you'll find that even his one up is replaced by bombs. You're not gonna get many more lives in this game. Which is why missing that continue could be a problem for me. Oh wait, no, it's not. Yeah, this pink cushion's a bit pain in the ass, too. With it, that jump, don't even bother jumping, just fall off the waterfall. You should land on the side. A couple more tricky jumps, and watch out, because, yep, they added more blades to this area. Yay! But we already know blades aren't that bad if you know where they are. A couple more tricky jumps. And there's the door, there's the scale. Oh god, I almost didn't make that. How big hit? Anvils? This isn't Looney Tunes, why the hell are there anvils in this game? Oh yeah, and that's a one hit kill. Avoid the anvils, get to the door, we're done. If only I did this the first time. Now sure, I made that look easy. But it took a lot to get that done. If you don't believe me, check out these bloopers. So we go up here, take out the golden toilet seat. Jump over the ledge. And destroy the pincushion. Now to fill up on nibbly pibblies. This is a bit time consuming, but has to happen. What's in here? Oh god, a toilet seat! Ah, I didn't notice the bomb! So out of the gate, we have to start with a couple of jumps. Alright, got a nibbly, and, oop, sorry about that, let me take some time to get up there, and, oh god, a bomb, what, they can hit me there? Alright, let's get going, gotta go fast. Get it up here, up here, okay, I think I can jump over this, ha, whoa! You gotta be careful over here, because this place has blades that can splice your snake in half. Ow, like that.
for level 4, I'm going to have to give the level a decent rating. Yeah, I'm not going to go right into it this time. Let me go over a couple things first. Like the fact that I'm surprised I didn't get crushed by an anvil. In this game, anything that lands on top of you, directly, is an instant kill. And that's a long about... That's a long list of instant kill things. Um, as we've already learned, falling, very lethal. Falling more than, I believe, four blocks, very lethal. Um, along with many other things. Um, I actually didn't get crushed by anvils, but I did get spliced by a blade. Spliced is not the right word. I don't know why I keep going to spliced. I didn't get sliced by a blade. There's no P in that word. Um, which is weird, because last episode is Blades of Gory, and I didn't get cut by the blades then. But in this level, I guess I was off my guard. Um, so, for the final rating, I'm going to have to give the level a 3. This level only gets a 3. Yeah, imagine what's up next. So, we finished level 4, which involved giant anvils falling down on you, like the Looney Tunes character. How can this game get any more cartoony than that? The answer is flying carpets. Stay tuned next time for flying carpets.